Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the process, whole process of making and editing the photo. The before photo was like that, the faded photo and after adding all the stuffs, you are getting like that. So at first I added a preset here, here I added a preset and after that I added another filter from the Nick collection and then the extra light and then the like a gradient from the lower side upper side and adjust the levels and exposures and then brightness and contrast and finally we are getting the photo before and after so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and uh, stay at home don't go outside if you want to get the download link of the plugins and resource file please check out my free description so i'm going to the home again and uh, this one the image press ctrl or command j you are getting another layer of this photo and after that filter camera filter in this filter you are getting uh, the all the settings like that again we are making like that here increase the vibrance and saturation dehaze as well and the clarity a little bit and texture a little bit and after that blacks a little bit down and whites increase the whites shadow give some shadow and the highlights i'll make it down yeah that's fine and the contrast a little bit up exposure a little bit up fine and the temperature a little bit warm type for the cinematic look we are making this one cinematic look and after that the tone curve from here blue tone curve i make the blue tone curve like this or like this you can just making like that and after that green tone curve i'll make the green tone curve like that and not too much a little bit and red tone curve making this and rgb tone curve i'm locking up over here and nice and after that here adding some sharpening and noise reduction HSL panel from HSL panel I work with the hue for the uh, yellow and orange color I'll make the orange and yellow color like that saturation a little bit down for the orange and yellow and increase the saturation of the red for the lipstick color and luminance increase the luminance decrease actually increase the orange luminance and yellow luminance and other steps will be like a uh, 10 okay making the value copy and paste all the stuffs that's why uh, just because of this one is a faded photo and the saturation i'll make it up like a uh, five five so okay making the value copy and paste okay that's fine and then the shadow and highlight that is the split toning here giving the saturation 10% and choosing the color from here so 167 is good for this highlight color and shadow let's pick up the shadow color in this portion you have to experiment that things I think this one is pretty good or uh, this one is good okay nice and after that here no lens correction issues from here I'll add some vignetting like that and let's work with the shadow color if i make it yeah that's fine and then effects i made the plus crop vignetting minus 12 from here i'll make the red primary color from the calibration like this and the aqua will be like that and this one will be like this okay not too much red decrease like that okay from here um, the blacks work with the blacks and shadow that's good and the shadow will be like that the highlight will be decrease and from here split toning we have to work with the split toning here that's good and that's nice In the hue saturation portion making the value down and increase the luminance of the orange and yellow that's good and uh, i'll make it a little bit cool type yeah that's fine uh, before 
and after before and after you are getting like that i'm saving this preset and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description I'm giving the name city okay saving that and hit the ok button after making it okay before and after and now i'll add the lights over here so city lights taking another blank layer going to the brush and pick the color like this the color code is ff807d ff871d and hit ok giving the brush like that and take the brush which is the first one and select once press ctrl or command t make it bigger like this okay and hit the ok button from here you are getting the uh, like blending mode change it into screen that's good and make it like that select these two things making it group and right press and make it convert to smart object from smart object panel go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 now i will add another um, like uh, filter from the nick collection you know nick collection is a bunch of preset collection and you can add preset in your photographs if you want to get the download link please check out my description and from here i have to pick up the color which is y02 or which one is good from here i'm using the cross processing for your kind information and here here so this one is good reduce the strength a little bit and hit ok it will take time to process and provide you the final output uh, i just made it this one like a smart object that's why you are getting like that okay nice and after that again i'm going to the levels from here change the level style okay that's fine and going to the exposure options a little bit up the exposure and the offset will be like that and then brightness and contrast add some contrast decrease the highlight a lights little bit and then go to the hue saturation increase the saturation a little bit and again go to the levels and take the levels upper side of the all panel and make it like that before image was like that and after adding the preset or other stuff you are getting like this so after adding like that you are getting this type of kind or like cinematic look in your photographs the faded or non editor image was like that and after adding the all the stuffs like that you are getting like this so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't go outside stay at home work from the home and keep safe until the next video i may say what i'm signing out today if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section bye bye